We're at a haunted house in line. <laughs> you guys, so we got our tickets for an hour ahead of time. And no, we can't exchange them or anything like that. So we're just standing in line. We're just gonna wait for like an hour. And on top of that, I forgot my ring light. So it's gonna be really, really dark. And now it looks very, very creepy. <laughs> because Alex thought he was helping. Can I'm they helping. even hear us? I feel like it's so, it's so dark. It's so dark. So loud. It's so dark, they can't hear us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, we got the crew, we got... We got uh, Alex Fred and we got Jordan back here. <laughs> oh, well, well. Oh, my God. 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 Look how cool that is. You guys, it is called Goblin Punch. It is green. It is delicious. And it is foaming. Okay, but how cute is this whole setup? Look at the little barn. It has some little lights. Pumpkin, <laughs> he's really liking his juice. He like his juice. <laughs> it's high. It's high. We're leaving. Oh my god, I was so scared. Oh, we, we went to two haunted houses. Oh, my god. I kept stepping on Alex's shoes too. He was hating it, but I don't know why he's bringing the J's, baby. Who told you to bring the J's? And Jordan was screaming the whole time. He yeah. really was. <laughs> no yeah. lie, Jordan. How many times did you get? I wasn't screaming. How many times did you scream? <laughs> I screamed maybe like four or five times. Oh, <laughs> four or five times. Jump, jump scare. It was a jump scare. It was a jump scare. You were scared. Everywhere. Behind you. Behind you. So Waffle House? Waffle yeah, Waffle House. House. Oh, okay. <laughs> As you guys seen, we just left the emergency hospital for pets and we just dropped Luna off because we had to rush to the hospital at, what time is it? It's 1.30 because um, when we came home today around 4 or 5, we noticed Luna was very like spooked. Very scared. Very scared. Um, she continued to be scared. Yeah, I thought it would go away yeah, within so, like an hour. Yeah, I was just like, oh, she got really scared. Because yeah. this has happened before where she gets pretty scared. So she was under the sofa hiding. But when she comes out, her eyes are really big. Dilated. Like, her pupils are, like, humongous. Yeah. And, like, she's never had them that big for this long. No. Um, She's, like, kind of, like, looking around. She's really kind of, like, scared. Sc you know, squinting an eye here and there. She peed on herself. And uh, yeah, basically she was just crying and acting super weird. She, and she was like pawing at her water like she wanted to drink it, but she like couldn't. And so we knew something was really wrong with her. Um, and that just happened like at 12. And I was like, something is really wrong with her. She's not just scared like any other time. This is something more serious. So we immediately came to the 24 hour hospital. They came into the room and they told us, we think she got into something toxic and- um, Like they were asking us if we had like lilies inside or mm -hmm. like maybe medication that we're taking that mm -hmm. might have been just left unopened. Or e yeah, they even asked us, do we have like MJ around? And I know, you know, my brother has MJ a lot. They were thinking like, oh, well maybe she could have gotten into some MJ. But my brother has had MJ around her and she completely avoids it. So like, I, I don't really know if that is even something that she could have gotten into. But if she got into that, I think that would be the best case scenario. Um, but we did find like a my, my mom's room open, right? Yeah. Which yeah. my mom's room is always closed. Somehow it got left open and she got in there and she got some snacks. But she kind of does that. But she's been known she's to get into snacks into before. Into snacks, into food. Like she eats whatever she can find. Yeah. And she's never acted this way before. Yeah, but I, I don't know if she got into something else in my mom's room. Like, I have no idea what she got into. Either way, whatever she got into, it has her kind of, like, really anxious and Almost scared. Like paranoid. Yeah. And she has to spend the night here. She has to spend up to 12 hours under their care. I don't know. I feel like that's one of the worst parts. But also, I feel like they can watch over her better than anyone. This has been a crazy night. Um, I didn't expect this. Because yeah. I came down, like, me and Haley were about to go to sleep. It was 12. And I was like, you know, let me just go down and check on her one more time. Let me see how she's doing. And no, she was doing worse than before. She was tripping out. She was like, kind of like looking around. She was so scared. So anxious. I felt like she just didn't know what was going on. Yeah, like she was out of it. She mm -hmm. was completely out of it. Yeah, so th at that point I was like, 
I, you know, I texted Haley. I'm like, look, something's wrong with her. And then Haley rushed down, and then we both like really looked at her and we're like, no, this is not right. Something is is extremely wrong with her. I'm just hoping she'll be okay. Yeah, they um, said that um they don't know exactly what she might have ingested, mm-hmm. but that maybe we could know. Um, she's very dehydrated, and they were gonna like give her some type of like lipids. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Look, you guys, she has a little cast. A I mean, little pink cast. Yeah, I mean, it's more of like a bandage yeah. type thing. So it was supposed to be overnight, um, but we decided to call back once we got home. And we're like, hey, is there any any way that we could pick her up and she'll still be okay? They told her, they told us yes. So we decided to go pick her up because it was just like a lot of dogs barking, a lot of people working there, and we just felt like she was not gonna feel comfortable. So we just brought her home. Yeah, she's still like on edge. Yeah, she's definitely like out of it. She's yeah. not herself right now. No. But the vet did tell us that I mean they hydrated her. They gave her stuff to push all the toxins out, um, that she needed to sleep it off, and that she would be okay. We definitely went into that vet like with so much like sadness and fear, and we came out relieved. I really did. I came out relieved, and I, I, I laughed a little bit with the receptionist. Yeah. <laughs> she's probably like, you stink. You stink. Unfortunately, she's covered in pea juice look, she, let me clean you bro because you musty look at her <laughs> get your ass over here we gonna clean you she bro. did miss her though as you could tell she went right towards her and yeah you... she did she at first she was kind of scared she was like what the hell is that <laughs> but she's like oh that's luna and she came and she just tried to like check her out like hey, where you been bro look and she's still looking on her yeah my mom did say she could have maybe I know found I know. a pill that she dropped in her yes, room Yes, I forgot what she called it but it was like a pain pill that she dropped and she never found it so she's like maybe she found that pill and she ate it maybe yeah so that's Com- a possibility because she did go under her mat under her bed yes. eating snacks yes and so- that's basically what like the the one thing that was different yeah today is that Lisa left her room door open and she never really does that and when we came back she realized her door was open and Looney's was tripping out This is what time Oh my god We got back Okay I just want you guys to comment down below and I know that you know to you guys this is just a cat but to us it's our baby but comment down below if you guys have ever had a scare with your child with your pet and it had to be like at night you know what i'm saying and like you had to rush to the hospital maybe the emergency room let me know like i want to know if you guys have been through this because it's very fucking scary what's wrong i have to leave what do you mean they're sending me away they're back to the huh they're gonna send me back i got rejected well why are they sending you back because they said that I lied. I falsified information. What information? My IRS. What do you mean? I didn't want them to know how much money I was making, so I lied about it. Why would you lie? I just didn't want them to know, and they're only giving me 90 days to leave. What the fuck, baby? Are we gonna sell the house? What the fuck? When did you get this? I just got it right now. Your brother went to go get the mail when I opened it. Because I thought it might have been my my permit. But it wasn't. It's a letter of rejection. What the fuck, baby? I know. I know. Why did you lie? Because I didn't think it was going to be, you know. I don't know. I didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal. But they're punishing me five years. That doesn't make any sense. Why would they just randomly send you back? We're going to have to sell the house, Alex. No, we can't sell the house, baby. We can't sell the house. Why, why not? It's five years. It says five years. And? So why would we sell the house if it says five years? So what are you going to do? It means you, you probably might be able to come back in five years, baby. 
It was just a punishment. You're saying that I might be able to come back in five years? Yes. So Wait, did you not want to go with me? I don't think I should, baby. We, you know, we have the house here. We have, we still gotta like pay the bills and all that. You know, I don't think we'll. I don't know. I don't think. What was all that talk about you saying that you would leave for me? I would, I would, but this is only five years. I don't think we should leave the house. Damn. So you wouldn't sell the house and move to Mexico with me? So you don't. You're not. You're not gonna. You're not gonna go. Uh, you're yes, gonna let me I'm, go I'm by I, I would go as much as possible as I can. You yeah. visit. But like I would stay. But you're not gonna go. I mean, I don't think you're I should. Go I don't me. think I should. You don't think you should? Why not? Cause it says five years, baby. I don't think we should sell the house. I really don't. But like I'm gonna go. I really... So for five years, we're just gonna be apart. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna see you as much as possible, as much as I can. I just don't wow. want to. I don't want to. I don't think we should sell wow. the house. Wow. Damn. No, baby, I don't think we should Damn. sell the house. Okay. Damn. I'm just saying. We... No, no, no. I'm saying we. Uh, no, I'm saying I don't think we should sell the house. Listen. You're not okay. Well, I was a fucking joke and. It's a fucking fake paper, but damn. No, no, I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. You fucking know. I know it's fake. This don't even look real. I know I'm messing with you. Chill. I'm playing. I'm playing. You're. Yes. You fucking dog. <laughs> but this doesn't even look real. <laughs> I'm sorry. You fucked up for I that, thought, bro. Baby, come here. No. I'm sorry. You kind of hurt my feelings. I know. <laughs> you hurt my feelings. I'm sorry. Because I kind of what? felt like you were all talk. <laughs> I kind of felt like you were all talk before. Baby, like, what is Damn. this? How did you even make this? Like, it don't even look real at all. Yeah, it's just a format. But damn, okay. Man, they're not gonna deport you for no reason. No, I actually have good news. What? I left it downstairs, but I I just got my DACA. Oh really? Yeah. And what? They renewed it. They renewed yeah. it. Yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was so happy when I yeah, seen it. I told it. you. <laughs> I knew it. I told you. Oh my god. Man, I knew okay. it was fake. Okay. So now you claiming that you knew it was fake. It looks fake. I knew it was fake. <laughs> I really did. I'm playing Damn. though. Maybe at the end of the day, if you got deported, we got deported. So you go with me? I kind of feel like you would go with me. You change your life. I don't know baby. no more, baby. I don't oh know no more because God. now, like, I don't know. Look, I could care less about this house. I bought this house for you. You could have the house, baby. You know what I'm saying? I don't care about this house. I really don't. I got my papers. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you bitches going to stay for another two years. <laughs> another two years. Who knows what's going to happen? After. Yes. So <laughs> basically, we ended up hiring a lawyer, and they didn't guarantee me anything. But we went ahead and we did the paperwork with them, and we still used the passport number that was expired. And they ended up approving me, like, yo, bitch, is going to stay here, you know? <laughs> I win to win, bitch. I win to win. I win to win. Only two years, but a win to win, you know? And I was so fucking happy. I was so happy that I got it. I'm like, I need to go fuck with Alex. <laughs> and then not mess with you. <laughs> I got so sad. I've seen that, I'm like. Yeah, I got sad as <laughs> fuck. I'm like, I'm damn. Now. Once you said five years, I'm like. Five years? <laughs> yeah, you can go for five years. That's fucked up, though. That's messed up. I kind of wanted you to be like, yeah, baby, let's go. Let's of course, go. baby. But oh. that's not what you said. I know what the fuck. <laughs> that's not what he said. said, though. That's not what he said. Man, I already know it's going to be comments. Like, no, Alex. That's not what he yeah, said. Alex is lying. He didn't know. Now we got two years, and like I feel like I can get like my paperwork in order just to make sure that this never happens yeah. again. You yeah, know? and definitely a lot of them helped us out. They I know. Oh my a god, a lot of information. A lot of you guys messaged us and helped yes. us out. Yeah, like commented. so many people. Yeah, so many people reached out to me, and after like I had like my mental breakdown, they were like, "Girl, 
you don't need your passport, but like you know, on the paperwork it asked for that mm-hmm. number. Like even the lawyer had to put it in, and he put in the expiration date and shit, you know. But like it turned out good, and I feel very very blessed to be able to be here for another two years, bitch. You know? Yes, yes. So what do you think? You think I'd leave you in Mexico by yourself, baby? Um, like for some I spice feel I do like to try to come up and steal my girl. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I feel like like I have this image of you that honestly I feel like. I believe you wouldn't like like cheat on me. You wouldn't like you know like abandon me because I feel like that's an abandonment. It's like a sort of abandonment, you know. It would be. You know, like I feel like I have this image of you that I feel like you wouldn't do that. But like I also have like this little almost like darkness in the back of my mind that like not everybody's that perfect, mm-hmm. you know. So it kind of hurt my it kind of hurt my face. I'm sorry. I've I'm seen like, it. damn, yeah. like you know, he's I supposed to be my rock. I knew he was gonna actually like. Fall for it. I didn't think you was gonna, but nah, you going to shut up. No, I honestly did. I'm like, damn, I'm like the first like chance of like the first sign of like rockiness, and like he's like, I'm out, you on your own. I'm like, fuck, wow, like I'm <laughs> on my own, you know. Maybe I'll tell this I was in a heartbeat. <sighs> I feel like things lately have been definitely like a roller coaster with like you know my DACA and us being scared and like Luna getting into something, getting intoxicated. But, like, you know, I feel like we stuck together and, like, Mm -hmm. we really, like, you know, held our own and, like, everything was good. Everything's been good. We're we're always going to be here for each other. And I know you're there for me. So, like, I would never, ever not be there for you. I leave in a heartbeat. Like, a heartbeat on everything I fucking love. May I be strike dead. If you was illegal and you have been deported, I leave with you. Fuck it, let let's go. Let me get out the way real quick. What? <laughs> what? I was like, let me get out the way so you can get striked. Oh, I didn't even get... <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Where is he going? <laughs> you fucking duck. To see if it was like some type of... Oh my God, I'm sorry. Anything. Ew, ew, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Ugh. I'm like... I just like... <laughs> oh! You guys, have you guys... I know you guys have heard and seen those articles where like women go to hospitals, bitches. Like they get hospitalized because they hold in they farts around they men. Bitch, I feel like that's gonna be me. Oh my God. I need you guys to comment down below if you guys have seen that. And if you guys have not seen that, it's what? real. What do they do? So basically, they hold in they farts so long for like so much that they end up getting like hospitalized because let's be real it's like a gas mm-hmm. that needs to leave your body and you're just like holding it mm-hmm. in and stuff like that you know so they get like extra bad cramps or something i don't know i i don't know exactly what it is i can't like you know don't quote sounds, me but kind of funny. i know they got hospitalized and they're like hey ladies don't do that you know like release it let it out we all do it is it a lady thing? Because I've seen ladies. <laughs> ladies get hospitalized. And I, I feel like more ladies do do it. I feel like I'd get hospitalized, dude. I can't. It's like it all comes out in your sleep. 